Hey guys, it's Fusion Timmy here. Today we'll be doing 100 days of Naruto modded Minecraft. I'm willing to bet this will be one of the coolest videos of my entire channel and possibly of all of the Naruto content on YouTube. What did he say? This mod is huge. We're using a whole mod pack and I'll even leave it in the description for you to try it yourself. If you're wondering what those ones are above my head, it's because I'm regenerating HP, which I'll explain shortly. So you see, today we'll be playing as Naruto Uzumaki, the Jinchuriki of the Kurama Tailed Beast, the Nine Tailed Fox. The Nine-Tailed Beast. You know, the, the main character of Naruto. I mean, you, you should all know this by now. So why am I wearing an Akatsuki robe then? I'll be honest with you guys. There was literally no Naruto outfit that I could find. So yeah, we're just rocking with what looks coolest. We can also unleash the power of a tailed beast. And I'm not just talking about the cloak, not just a couple tails. I'm talking about we can become Kurama. This is insane. Yeah, I kind of got carried away earlier and then I ended up destroying most of the village over here. And I feel kind of bad because I left a giant crater. I'm sorry, Leaf Village, I couldn't contain my power. This guy's just trying to act like he doesn't see me and he's just minding his own business because he knows I would absolutely destroy him if he tried to say something. Anyways, yeah, I used a Bijou Bomb and it completely just annihilated this entire area. So, Tell Spirits are pretty dangerous. You may even recognize this map. I actually used this map in one of my old videos known as 100 Days of Naruto, but I actually played it with a friend. That video was pretty good, but it is very low quality and kind of an older video. Although it was pretty funny considering there was a giant tornado. Most of the video was more about a tornado than the actual Naruto content. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Get to okay. the village! Back in! Or get, right, your, let's go, get your let's radar! Go, let's move. Get the radar! Let's move! Let's move! Dude, look at it, I though! Can't. Let's leave! No, let's but leave. look at it! But look at it, though! Our house! Actually, I got a chance. I got a chance to get it. Thank you, we're gonna have chance. to move! Bacon, Don't worry. Run. Bacon! Run. Oh, Timmy. Timmy. Oh, Timmy. Oh, Substitution. I can't run fast enough. Substitution. Bacon! Oh, I fell. Oh. Okay. Oh, Timmy. Oh. Our house. Our house! No! But today, I'm doing the proper respect to Naruto Uzumaki, one of my favorite protagonists in all of anime. And if you're excited to see this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this around. Because it's proven that if you subscribe, if you comment, if you leave a like, interacting with the video it will help it spread on youtube it helps me in the algorithm it is proven so please help me i just want to thank you guys so much for the support and i am just so excited to get into 100 days as naruto uzumaki all right so since we're currently naruto uzumaki we're going to be starting this just as it would in the canon we don't even have our tailed beast actually unlocked yet we can use the power but only if we're in a dire situation and it can't go above the first tail or two we're going to be starting off super weak, and we have no moves. We also have our wind release, which is basically Naruto's element that he has. And that's where he makes, like, the Rasengans and whatnot. So that's going to be really fun to actually learn. There's also special jutsus that we can unlock, and I haven't actually figured out how to unlock those yet. But I'm pretty sure I can learn it through either killing things or doing the story. Speaking of story, we have the story mode right here. We have some Ichiraku Ramen and a Kurama skill learner. Now, I don't actually know if this Kurama skill learner is going to work, because I was having a bunch of issues with it. However, we're at least going to try. Now, we also have this Ambu mask, which I just got because I think it fits kind of well. It looks pretty good. So if I'm like, I'm doing a mission or something, I can wear this Ambu mask. Or is it Anbu? I, I don't really remember. I'm gonna be honest. However, we are starting off with higher stats than you usually would. Now, you're gonna be wondering, why exactly do you have so many stats? I'm gonna be real with you. I want to make this video where we could start off with the Nine-Tailed Fox already unlocked. However, I'm going to only let us use certain tailed forms after so many days. So, it's basically going to be kind of a scripted episode. I don't mean scripted as in everything's planned. I mean as in, I'm already going to have the tailed beast. Normally, you would not have the tailed beast. Normally, you'd have to track down Kurama, kill Kurama, then unlock the tailed beast. But I figured since this is supposed to be a video of me playing as Naruto Uzumaki, I should go ahead and have the tailed beast already. So you can see I have the wind release and I have no Keki Genkai because that's exactly how Naruto would be. So currently we are playing as Naruto. We might even unlock the Sage mode. We generally might. So our goal is to try and be as much like Naruto as possible. And that means already having the Tailed Beast from day one because Naruto grew up with the Tailed Beast inside of him. If you have any complaints about this, I don't know what to tell you. That's just what my video is going to be about. I'm sorry if you're upset that I didn't just go and kill a Tailed Beast to get it, but... I wanted to start from day one with the tail beast exactly as Naruto would in the canon. All right, now that that's all the way, let's just go over here to the Okage office because I just want to see what's around. I want to explore a little bit. It's only day one. I got plenty of time. What do we got going on in here? We got like a little... I'm not, I'm not even going to ask, man. <laughs> okay, so like over here, we got the Hokage building 
And I kind of forgot how to train in this. I'm pretty sure I make shadow dummies, which I can get from the story mode. Let me turn off my chakra control here so I'm not climbing up buildings. We have a zombie here, and I don't exactly know why, but I don't do that much damage to him yet. As you can see, if I was to get hit, my screen actually turns red and there's little effects. I kind of dig it. It's exclusive to this mod pack. Normally, you wouldn't be actually seeing stuff like that in natural Minecraft, so it's just in the mod pack, and I think that's really nice. We already are going to need a lot more Ichiraku ramen at this rate. So we'll have to find another source of food. But if I'm not mistaken, there might even be some mob spawners. From what I remember on this map, there was mob spawners at a certain area. So maybe there's still some pig spawners in certain areas. Either way, what if we just go ahead and start the story mode? So, Star Storyline Episode 1, Enter Naruto Uzumaki. Long ago, there lived a fox spirit, a fox with the nine tails. It could crumble mountains and summon tsunamis. As a result, the ninjas were forced to band together and sealed it with the sacrifice of a single ninja. However, the one who sealed it perished. That ninja was the fourth Hokage. Okay, we got Ruka sensei Hey, Fusion Demi, you're late for class. All right, now everyone's here. Let's begin the first lesson of today. The Kage Bunshin no Jutsu, or the Shadow Clones. Naruto, ah, this is going to be super easy. Believe it. Naruto, be quiet. Now, everyone, slay the Kaji Butsu no Jutsu. Uh, Spanish words. Okay, well, we're Naruto technically in this. I mean, in the story, we're going to be Fusion Timmy, but, like, we're supposed to be playing as Naruto, so this is where it gets kind of confusing. But they don't know that. You don't have enough Jutsu points. I need one Jutsu point to be able to continue this, and I can learn the Kage Butsu no Jutsu. It costs one Jutsu point. Okay, well, I have to gain a Jutsu point. This is glitched. I actually have zero Jutsu points right now, so I have to go and get some. Now, the best way to do that, I think, would be fighting stuff, I believe. I'll have to figure that out. But since it's already getting dark, maybe I should find a place to stay. Maybe I should make me a base. No, 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 no. That's great. That looks nice. That That's supposed to be like that, I'm sure. Yep. Nope. Um... Yeah, that or there's a crazy killer on the loose. Level zero. No, am I entering the back rooms? Oh, nah. Yep, it's the back rooms. Nope, 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 nope. This purple house looks pretty nice. Level one. Completed by... Nusaka. No, well, at least there's some stuff on here. You know what? I'll take it. It has a bed. Looks pretty nice. I say it's time to sleep. Okay, so I used a certain command to go ahead and set me back to a low level. That way now we can have the stats that we need to actually use the Jinchura key while also being the proper level. This is gonna make leveling up a lot easier for us. So I think now since we have one point, I believe we should better do the story mode. Wait, huh? Huh? Okay, well that works. Well done everyone, except for you Naruto. What? Ah, ha, 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 what an idiot. SpongeBob! Okay, I should've. That's enough, class. Classes are over for today. I'll see you all again tomorrow. And Tarto's like, I'll show them all. I'm the quiet kid. And now we have the Kage Bunshin no Jutsu, which is us. Since we're playing Naruto here, this has actually been one of our signature moves. A second thought, uh, I think I want to do a Sasuke video. Okay, realistically, no, come on. Why are you ugly? Oh my god, okay. Bonk, 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 dead. I have reached level three, let's go, baby! Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Taijutsu makes me do more physical. Man, Shadow Clone Jutsu! Let's go! That's when I'm tight! You know, I'm not even gonna kill you for that. Let's go, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's my boy. 
Okay, I'm gonna need one more of those though, because that's not enough. So, ha, ha, ha. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, yo, what are you making? Another shadow clone? Chill there. Nah, there can only be one. There can only be one. Ooh, an uncommon loot bag. Some bronze ingots. Thanks. That's that's great. No, that's that's exactly what I wanted. All right, so uh, let's go and continue the story mode. Good. Seems like you all nailed it, Sasuke. That was excellent. <laughs> ah, so cool. I don't get it. What's so cool about him? Can you take me with me on this one, right? All right, kid. That's enough for today. See you tomorrow. Be sure to be rested tomorrow. The Ginnan exams. Future Timmy, I'll catch you later. Grin. That's... That's... Spooky. Okay. Naruto, I've, I don't know why they made you so creepy in here. They did you dirty. Okay, what do we need next? Okay, we've already got it. You need to be level 25 to start episode 3. Alright, so now we really get to try and progress who we are as a person. Who we are as a being. We don't need to rely on Karama yet. We're strong enough to fight our opponents. Oh, look, there's a little bag. An iron helmet, basically useless items to be completely honest. I don't really want that, I'm good. You may be wondering why I have more HP. It's because I needed a certain amount of medical jutsu to actually, or is, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's medical jutsu to be able to unlock the Jinjuriki. And I'm gonna say that that is why my HP is higher. And if you're wondering, well, isn't that kind of OP? In a way, but I'm gonna act like that's just a problem being a Jinjuriki because to get a Jinjuriki in this game, that's what you need. And eventually, there's going to be stuff that's really going to give me a struggle. Now, I need to be level 25, so I can do some Shadow Clone training. Or I can kill hostile mobs. How much do these shurikens do? Oh, they're not bad. That's not bad at all. How do I get more of those, though? Is there a shop, maybe? I think there is a shopkeeper in here, if I'm not mistaken. But I, I could be crazy. I could be totally crazy. Let's see. Shuriken. Kunai, but that's that's not a shuriken. Where's the shuriken? There's the shuriken. I can craft them with iron. I can make 50. Oh, so these loot bags could have a purpose because if I get four iron, I get 50 shurikens. And those shurikens seem to be uh, pretty amazing, to be completely honest. But, oh well. I guess I'm just going to start doing some shadow dummy training because that seems to be the best way to get some XP right now. Okay, guys, so it's been a few days and I've actually started training a lot. And I just kept using the shadow dummy training method. It did take a while. I would just sleep at nighttime. Uh, I probably could have fought mobs at nighttime, but I figured like I would just do the Naruto route, doing shadow dummies. And it took a while. Honestly, it was a little bit faster than doing mobs because instead of having to run around just fighting mobs, I could just spawn in a little shadow dummy. Boom, 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 boom. He's dead. And it would take a few of those, but eventually I would get where I needed to be. It got pretty slow, but luckily now, we really can't get a lot of shadow dummy points, I don't think. I think now we have to mostly get stuff from doing hostile mobs. Look, it's a quest giver. Hold up. Let me let me activate my chakra control. No, okay, it was already activated. Never mind, I'm stupid. Or no, it wasn't. I don't know, dude. It's activated now. Hello? Hi. Care to give me a, a quest, buddy? Can I just... Can I just... Did I just kill you? Give me a- give me a quest! Give me a quest! Kage Buchi no Jutsu? That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! Yeah! Get him! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so while you do that, um... Storyline Episode 3, Guinea Exam. Today marks a very special day. You will all participate in the Ginnan exams. Naruto, oh, all right, I'll be one step closer to becoming Hokage. Kaiba, I mean Kiba, uh, you, you, Hokage. I, if anyone will become Hokage, it's me, Hinata. Oh, Naruto, I, I believe in you. What was that, Kiba? Keep it down, guys. The exams will now begin. Here are the forms. Good luck. Oh, I got it. Cool. Well, why are you holding that, bro? That's mine. Give it back! Give it back! Oh, he's, he despawned. Well, say so it's already about to turn nighttime. Either way. So now I have to complete the gaining exam. That'll be fun. Uh, there seems to be some people over there, though. So what's that about? These are more quest givers. Well, if they're supposed to be quest givers, why can't I talk to them? Start the exam exam. Gaining exam. Read the description item for info. Prove your strength by... Gathering a bone and a spider eye. 
This'll be quite fun. Well, I guess I could get a spider eye tonight. It won't be easy, but it just means I gotta go around killing a bunch of spiders. That's not too bad for one of my first quests as a ninja. Before I do that, I should go and put in some of my points. So how about we go and make our taijutsu a little better? And hey, 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 hey! Why, why do I not do any damage to you? Because of my chakra control? Yep. Uh, I have no idea why I can't hurt this guy hardly. But you know what I will say? Kagemuchi no jutsu! Oh no, my shadow clone died. Man, there's so many of you. This is an issue. Let's get the heck out of here. Matter of fact, let's go back to home. Or at least on top of some kind of building because I have got to get out of here. I need a place to just chill out for a minute. It would sure be nice. Okay, so first off, let's check out these loot bags. We got disc 11. We got a tin filled can and a name tag. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I can eat that. That's useful. I'll take it. Turns out these loot bags might just be really useful for getting food. I need to learn to move. So how about we finally use our skin, our skin, our skill learner wind release, which will teach us vacuum spear. It's our first move. Let's try it out. Ooh, and I can spam it like that. I see my chakra at the top left going down every time I use it, but look how fast it is. Oh, y'all don't stand a chance. Sorry, man. I am a ninja. Maybe not the best ninja, but we're just starting out. I think having a move like this already is pretty crazy. I have got to find a spider eye. Ooh, pulsating iron and silver rayo. Oh, silver rayo is really good because that's actual currency in this. I can, I got currency in here, so there must be some kind of shop. How do I access the shop? That's the question. Maybe it's an item I have to get, or maybe it's like at a place. It's a good question. Maybe I can look into that. All right, well, there's way too many mobs around here. Either I need to go to sleep or I need to find a spider now. Oh, there's a lot of spiders. It's a spider jockey. That's rare. Vacuum spear. Yeah, stay away from me. I can spam. Ha! This is easy. I do gotta find a bone as well. Looks like I have my bone and my spider eye. All right, I'm good. I don't appear to be getting any levels from this. I wonder why I'm not getting any XP from this. Oh, I did. Finally. Okay, well. Division, sigil, ritual. But I'm not getting all that. Okay, well, let's get back to base. We have what we need now. I think it's time to sleep. All right, guys, so it's been about a day. And I have crap all in my inventory, and I just don't know what to do with it. So I'm just gonna throw it in here. I got way too much junk all around here. I'm gonna throw in the string, glow flower, the copper, the pulsing iron, the tin, all this stuff that I don't need, it goes in here. There's quite honestly a lot of stuff I don't need right now that I'm just gonna put in there. Go and eat one of these cans. And my chakra is completely full from what I slept. On top of that, I accidentally learned another move, which is apparently wind mode. Activate wind mode to increase your speed, jump resistance, and dig speed. Now, if you saw my Madara video, you would know that I used some of these wind moves before, and the wind mode is actually really awesome because it makes you go crazy fast. You have higher jump speed, resistance, and like I said, dig speed. Basically, it makes you just really quick at like anything you do. I love it. And on top of this, I'll eventually be able to have my tailed beast with me, and it's gonna be crazy. Look at this, look at these hops. Oh, this is, this is fun. This is fun. I like this. And now I have chakra control on, so I can go... Wait, wait, wait for it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There's like a triple jump. That's wild. Oh, I love that. Okay, what's next? I'm gonna get an exam. Prove your strength by gathering a bone and a spider eye. Oh, I must have put the spider eye in the chest. Let me go ahead and deactivate that. Oh, give me that. Okay. Now... Congratulations, you passed part one of the beginning exam. Read the item description for more info. Prove your agility by grabbing an ocelot. Left clicked it with this item in hand. This will be easy now that I got the wind mode. But finding an ocelot won't be easy. Alright guys, well, I'm going to set teleport here. And then we're going to go start looking for an ocelot somewhere. 
All right, guys, we're currently looking for a jungle. We're just hopping through the trees, just like it would be in Naruto. There is a bridge, but what fun is that? You know what I mean? When they're traveling in the show, they don't use a bridge. Okay, well, sometimes they use a bridge. But for the most part, they just go around, hopping around, and they use their agility through trees, and they don't fall in water like that. I'm just kind of an idiot. However, we are looking for a jungle somewhere. Now, where one will be, I don't actually know. I have no clue where we're going to find the jungle, but we have to find an ocelot, so there has to be some somewhere, right? This map might have a hard time finding a jungle. I think I had a hard time finding a jungle in my last video I did on the Naruto mod. It was on the same map, I believe. Wasn't easy, but we will figure it out. This is terrifying. It's just some random chest and a, a, whatever this is. An evil forest. I don't freaking know. Oh, well, even if we can't find a jungle, maybe we'll find an ocelot. There's another biome. I just gotta look around and hopefully I'll eventually find a jungle biome, no matter how far I gotta go. Even if I gotta go outside the map's barrier. Well, oh, wait, there's a jungle. Let's go! Now I just gotta find and catch an ocelot. I gotta hopeful, hopefully one will just spawn, you know? All right, I finally found an ocelot. I just gotta left click it with this, and we're good to good to go. We did it. I don't want to kill it. You passed part two of the getting exam. Read the item description for more. So what's next? Previous survivability by attaining a piece of wheat. <clears throat> you tell me I just gotta make a farm now. <laughs> this is so silly. Uh, there's a ninja trader. Neji pants. I don't want no neji pants. So apparently these ninja traders can have random items that you can buy in them from time to time. However, I already have a full outfit, so I don't really know if that'll do me much good. Is this wind mode constantly draining my chakra? It is. I have to be careful because apparently using this wind mode, while it makes me faster and more agile, it's constantly draining my chakra. I didn't even notice because I kept eating. I kept eating because I would run out of food, and I guess that must have just been constantly restoring the mode. I used all of my tin cans, I'm pretty sure. It's another ninja trader. Regular jutsu? Oh, man. I would love the sexy technique, dude. Like, what the... The chakra for health a uh, health charge? Okay, well, this is this this is sad. I can't go to these traders yet. Entity quest giver. Oh, man, oh, man, I used to quick. They require some fight to be acquired, though. Can you please help me out? Uh... I mean, yeah. Can, can I help you? Oh, wait. Here we go. S wait, does it say C rank mission? Need six string. Okay, so if I gather six string, I don't actually have to be at this NPC, I don't think. I think I just gotta gather six string and then the quest finishes. Well, it's getting late and I need to get back to base. So I'm gonna go catch some string by killing spiders, maybe look in my chest and sleep and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, we're finally back. Get the string out of the chest. I already gathered all the string we needed. And now I should be able to complete the C rank mission. Still five string to go. Oh, okay. I can just spam this. And then let's go. 24 bronze. Ryo gained eight experience. Reached level 28. Okay. Well, I got a skill point or two. Also, we're not even done yet because we already have the wheat that we need to complete the story mode. Right? Because it says... Oh, it's right here. I'm stupid. Congratulations, you have passed the Ginnon exam. You are not an academy student, thus you cannot rank up to Ginnon. Oh. You're not an academy student. The frick you mean I'm not an academy student? It just took my wheat! I tried to click my wheat and it's gone now. Guys, I am frustrated. I've lost multiple days worth of footage for no re- Like, I have the footage, but my microphone wasn't on. I- I- okay, so I'm just gonna run it through you guys. What happened in the last few days? Well, you see, it wasn't all that eventful. I did some training. I figured out how to become a Ginnon. I even got myself a headband. Now, if you're wondering how I did it, basically I had to restart the entire quest, but it actually worked this time. I guess it was just a glitch. Then after that, I became a part of Team 7, and it was it was a really long story quest. Like, I just had to kind of skip through it. It's basically the first episode of Naruto, the first few episodes or so, uh, just bite-sized. So if you want to know what it's about, you can just watch the actual show. It's literally quotes from the show. However, now we have to go to the training grounds to go and meet Kakashi, who is going to teach us some things. I'm ready if you guys are, so we're going to go head over there now. I'm so sorry you lost the last couple days of footage, but all that really happened was 
I unlocked a new mover too. So we have wind mode, obviously, but we also have vacuum spear. And we also have our air bullets. Air bullets is the new one. It does really high damage and it can be spammed really fast. Now, I can still learn more moves, but I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. I only have five. I'm going to need more before I can actually do that. Anyways, we have to get to a certain position to be able to actually do this story. So I have to go look and see where exactly this place is. All right, guys, we officially arrived. This is the exact spot. Good, we're here. All right, now explain the mission already. Okay, Sasuke's like, keep quiet, loser. You're just scared the mission will be too hard for you. Wanna fight, idiot? Sure thing, I'm right here. Fusion Timmy, stop them. No. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> one more word, not just kill you both myself. Dang, Kakashi, chill. What I need to do is take these bells off me. That sounds easy enough. I'll do it on my own. Oh! Oh! But they don't give me any sort of breather. Kage Buchi no Jutsu! All right. Nah, you're nothing compared to me right now. Let me show you my wind mode. Vacuum spear. Get back. Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. Oh, you're over here. Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. Is that all you got? What are you running to? Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. Wind boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Wait, wait. Hey, wind boy! Man. I could do some. I would love to do some hand to hand combat right now, but apparently I'm just not good enough. However, he, can, he got them hops! Gotta be careful. Kakashi? Oh, he's over here. Kagebuchi no Jutsu! Did you just make a freaking lava pool? Okay. Air bullets. Did you tell me it was pummeled by Entity? Oh, God, he's still going. Oh, I'm gonna take the bells off of you, all right. Watch this. Yeah. Air bullet. I'm not struggling too hard against them right now. My HP is still really good because of my Jinchuriki status. But it's getting to a point. Or I just might have to break out the Nine-Tailed Fox. And we're only fighting Kagashi, that's the bad part. Ah, no, no, and I think we're doing just fine. Let's look at this. Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, I used all my chakra, I'm an idiot. Oh no, I'm out of chakra! How do I charge up chakra again? I'm charging! Kaki but you no jutsu. Oh! <laughs> Luckily, I'm near invincible with how much HP I got. You can see that I have like this one HP bar is lasting forever. You can't kill me, Kakashi. I'm just built different. Kaki but no jutsu. Hey, get him! My clone. Beat him! Get him! Get him! Show him what's good. Okay, 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 time to die, time to die, time to die, time to die. Time's up, you only managed to beat my clone. Bruh. That was just his clone, oh nah. You all failed, that's messed up. And Naruto, as you got tied to that pole, you don't get to <laughs> have lunch. Everyone else, you get one last chance. Don't share your food with Naruto, poof. Oh yeah, that's that one test. Okay, bro, you can you can just go away now. I got you. Okay. I should know, but we should, we we should break the rules. Oh. Wow. Man, everybody's just eating in front of Naruto. Man, they messing up bad. Poor Naruto over here just he's just starving, bro. Here, you can have it. Sasuke was the one that would open up and be nice because he's the goat. Kakashi's like, you <laughs> Passed. What? Huh? Look, the most important thing is teamwork, guys. In the world of Shinobi, those who break the rules are scum. 
but those who abandon their comrades are even worse than scum. That's right, I actually said it before it even came up on the screen because I remember the quote. Good, I'll see you all tomorrow, officially as Team 7. But the rules are me. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Naruto. That's my goat right there. Yeah, he already knew that he was the freaking protagonist. Day one. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Uh, 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 uh. That was a hard fight, but luckily, I didn't have to use the nine-tailed fox to win. But, that's the end of today. It's time to go back to our base. Look, there's a whole line of skeletons out there in a formal, like... They are in a single file line, ready to take me on if I go over there. That's terrifying. What are the odds of that? Okay, guys, so now that we've actually finished training with Kakashi, what's next? Well, first we level up a lot, apparently. And I'll be honest, I'm thinking about putting that into ninjutsu, because that seems to be like really helpful right now. It's going to make our moves do more damage, and to me, that's all I really care about. So what's next? Is there any more quests? End of storyline for now. Oh, man. That's it. That's the end of the storyline. But guess what? Fusion Timmy isn't just going to let the video in like that. We get 100 days. And you want to know why? There is bosses that we're going to have to fight here. And there's going to be a lot more strong stuff than what we've just experienced. We are just scratching the surface of what's to come. Sure, the mediocre storyline may have just ended. But the actual gameplay side of things does not end here. For one, there's going to be bosses that we have to fight. For two, we need to unlock all of our moves. For three, we want to get the Rasengans. And for four, we still have yet to actually unleash our Tailed Beast. So you know what? Since we're a quarter of a way through the video, I think it's time to finally unleash our Tailed Spirit. To unleash the Stage 1, our Virgin Cherokee. Our Nine-Tailed Fox, Karama. Here it comes. This is what the one tail fox looks like. This is what our first cloak looks like. We're cloaked in just one tail. I'm gonna take off this headband, it looks a little weird. We're cloaked in just one tail and we are ready. This is us using our tailed beast. Now what does this do? It makes us stronger. We have more HP, we're quicker. You can already notice that I'm faster. And if I was to activate wind mode, I'm even faster, faster. This just makes me insane. Now, while there's not really like a running animation, you can see it does have its glitches. It actually does look pretty good when you're just standing still. It looks pretty crazy. It's having my actual skin underneath, which is a glitch, but for the most part, it's really awesome. Like, look at how the, the ears just go back and forth. It's really cool. I have so many effects going on right now. It's actually insane. But uh, does it actually drain my normal chakra being in this mode? Does it? It doesn't. So being in my Jin Cherokee form doesn't actually hurt me. Now the Jin Cherokee, you know, like the, I should more say like the Krama cloak, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't just get stronger. You have to be with it longer. And eventually I'll be able to fully unleash its power. This is the first stage, but there's multiple stages after this. And we have to be careful because this power can get pretty overwhelming if we're not careful. So what's next? I think first I want to try and fight mobs and get Ryo because I want to get the moves. For instance, the Rasengan. So if I was to look right here, you could see that I can learn different moves here. So you can see the Rasengan is the very bottom one. Now also right here, there's a Rosin Shuriken. These are the moves I'm looking to obtain. I can also get the Toad Sage somehow. Right here we have Toad Oil Book. This is not what I'm looking for. Do, 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 do. Maybe I think I can get it, but I don't know if I can get it legit. I would probably have to use some sort of toad spirit mode near the end. But for now, how about we do what we can do? We're going to get stronger and we're actually going to try and unlock stuff. What else is there to like, unlock here? I know we have to unlock all of our wind moves. We have to unlock Rasengan, Roz and Shuriken, and we have to defeat bosses. But is there anything I'm missing? Because they don't tell you everything. There's a lot of little secrets in here that you could easily miss. Such as, you can get different weapons by upgrading your stat for your weapon stat. Like, it just, there's a good chance that you'll get a weapon from it. I think you get a weapon ever so often as you get stronger. That just gets better and better. Uh, as you can see, there's tons of different weapons here. And I don't know if I could actually, like, craft them. I don't think I can craft them. I think I could just find them. Or I get them from getting stronger by upgrading my stat. So that's one cool thing. I'm going to try getting that to happen. 
and I think that really just might be about it. There's gonna be a lot of little cool things I can do though. I just can't actually unlock them without using certain little cheats to make things work. Sadly, that's how a lot of these anime mods are. They're just not fully fleshed out yet. Do you sell anything? A military bread pill. A pressure increasing pill that pushes the user to its limit for a short time. This does however hurt the user's body considerably and make him very hungry. I think I'm gonna pass because I wanna keep my money. Now to get money, I think I'm gonna have to just go kill mobs and hopefully get just a good bit of it. So it's gonna take me some days. It's gonna take some time. Do we have any jutsu points? To get our next move, we need 20 jutsu points. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go actually fight some mobs and I'm gonna come back to you guys once I have enough jutsu points to unlock my first, uh, well, I guess my next move. It's not my first move, but my next move. Also, if I can just manage to get enough Ryo, I can look around for a ninja trader and probably get one of those jutsus that I'm looking for. Now, I don't know what jutsu I'll get. It's completely at random, so this could take a lot longer than I would hope. Let's go ahead and go out of our biju cloak here. Now, we are fully back to being normal. Well, I guess I just gotta wait for nightfall. Okay, guys. So, I've officially trained for a few days, and I've actually got enough to go ahead and unlock our next skill. The training is getting way slower because the stronger you are, the more it takes. It gets kind of annoying. But now I can go ahead and learn vacuum, <laughs> vacuum, or the frick is it? Vacuum serial waves. Shoot three vacuum waves at your opponent, pushing them back. That's kind of like the vacuum spear, but maybe a little different. Whoa, it's like an explosion. Oh, wow, it's three of those big blasts. That's strong, like for this creeper right here. One, two, three. It's kind of hard to aim. One, two, three. Well, they're not hitting him a third time. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. That's odd. Well, either way, I definitely gotta get more Ryo. That's for sure. I'll take the tin can. But yeah, I gotta get a lot more Ryo to actually be able to get other moves, so it's like, I gotta train more, and I gotta actually try and get some more money, that way I can get the Rasengan's. And I still got another move to learn, I'm pretty sure. Beast Tearing Palm. This'll be interesting. Well, I have to go and train, just a lot, and all night, and hopefully eventually I'll get up a bunch of Ryo. I'll get back to you guys when I actually get the stuff I need, at least to do something next. Get away from me! Dang! Vacuum cereal waves! Okay. I'm gonna run for my life now. Nope. Alright. Okay, so we don't have a ton of skill points, but it'll do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and find one of the ninja learners or teachers that can teach us how to uh, get some moves. Because I want to get some moves. I want to try and find one of those moves. Look, I've got a bunch of Ryo already. I'm ready to go. Let's put on our headband. No, let's actually go. It sucks that the storyline ended. Because that was like one of our big things going on here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go out. And we're going to try and find some of those ninja learners. And we're going to try and get some of the skills that we need. Because we have a far ways before we've got everything that Naruto would have. By the end of this, I want to be like, yes. This is the Naruto Uzumaki build. What's another spider jockey? Are these things just not rare in this version or something? Or in this mod? This is wild. Let me help you out. Oh, still not enough. Wow. Die! Look, more Ryo. There are some quest givers out here, though. Oh, man. I need some ingredients. Quick, could you please help me out? 18 raw be... I'm not doing that, bro. Okay. Here, keep out of young Shinobi. One day, I'll be able to participate in the tuning exams. I can rank up more, can't I? Like, I'm beginning right now, but eventually I could get higher. So technically, the story's not over. I'm sure, the main story is over, but there's other things I can do to maybe get higher ranked. I'm not exactly sure if I'll be able to do that in this video or not, but I could attempt. I could attempt to do it, if I can just figure out how. There's a bunch of guys out here. Or, I guess there's a girl here, too. Quest giver. Could you please ever watch my watch over my baby for a bit? Uh, sure. Wee, wee. <laughs> this is the most boring mission in the world. 
Please keep my baby safe while I do my chores. Don't move far away, please. Oh my god. This has got to be a joke. This this has got to be a joke right now. I have a literal nine-tailed fox inside of me. Quite literally a demon, practically. And you're making me babysit. This is... I could be doing so much more right now. Time left. Oh my god. I gotta wait 20 seconds? I remember this mission in one of my old Naruto videos. Oh my lord. Okay, and the babysitting is done. Time is up, you fulfill the mission. Hand the baby back to the client. All right, look, I got some Ryo, some experience. Really wasn't that great. Haha. <laughs> uh, what about this one? Sorry, I got a mission for a tuning or higher, so I'm not cut out for it. How do I rank up? Is there not a way to rank up right now? I, I'm at getting rank, but how do I go up higher? Because the story doesn't allow me to. Maybe I'd have to use a cheat. Maybe if I use a cheat, I could get myself to be a tuning. Because I don't know if there's another way to get tuning. Let me try looking it up, maybe. Tuning exams. Right click this to start your tuning exam. I, I don't know if there's an actual natural way to get this, so I might just have to actually go and cheat it in just to go ahead and get us the tuning exam. What could possibly be going on in the tuning exam, I wonder? Well, we're not going to figure that out today. Today, we're going to go and we're going to try and find some ninja learners. Like I said, we have got to try and find ourselves some moves. If I can't find it today, I'll just have to keep looking until I eventually find one. What's this say again? There is a mission near. What do you mean a mission near? A mission nearby? Like, don't those randomly spawn? What's that even mean? That's odd. Hold on. You. I think I hear some voices over there. Uh, I mean, there's some Endermen. There, there's some voices, I suppose, if that's what you want to say. Let me turn that off. Whoa. What's going on down here? We found something, all right. What is going on? I mean, I can't help my curiosity. I got to explore this. What is this? These nasty, those nasty shinobi runts will never know who. That's a creepy noise. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to look like this miner. I think I heard something up ahead. You think? Okay. Interesting. Well, that leads nowhere. That leads nowhere. This leads somewhere though. Where's this taking me? Activate wind mode for better speed. Well, I can't see anything now. Is this it? This is all it leads to. Well, that's something. Uh, I'm stuck. Get me out of here! <laughs> Just the way I'm like beating on the door. Like, what's going on right now? Dude, let me out. Let me out, dog. This ain't funny. Oh my god. You know what? I'll just break the door. Open the door, or I'm gonna throw a rock through your window. This is ridiculous, man. Just let me out. Alright, I'm out. Let's get the heck out of here. Because I am done playing these games right now. Not actually. I got like a whole another 50 more days to go. But oh my god. This is actual pain. Well, uh, I don't know how to learn. Oh. It's that easy, huh? Credit clone of oh, a naked female to throw off your opponent. Oh man, I can't wait to see what that looks like. That's gonna be so funny. That is gonna be hilarious. What happened to- There was some people over here I wanted to talk to. I don't know what happened to them. There was other traders over here and they despawned. If I don't find some other traders soon that use bronze Ryo, I'll have to go back to base. Because I- I mean, I got one of the moves, but it's not a Rasengan. It's nothing even that special. I need something a lot better than this. I've got to, like, find a guy that'll give me the proper jutsus I need. A Rasengan, maybe a Rosin Shuriken, something, like, you know, actually solid. So far, that that's not happening. 
Oh well, time to just continue looking. Eventually I'll find it. Alright guys, so I officially have two of the rare jutsus that we need. The Rasengan and the Multi-Shadow Clones. And we already have the Chakra for Health Charge. Now, uh, I still need some more jutsu. So if I was to look at jutsu here, you would notice that I need to get the ultimate jutsu. Which is like Rosin Shuriken. Which would be really good for us. We really need that. So if that'll be like the last move we gotta go and seek out that I know of. And we can go ahead and learn these other moves. I've gotten a lot stronger because I've been training and I had to look for so much just to get these rare uh, these rare jutsus. It was really annoying. But now that we have enough, we can go ahead and put our stats in. I don't exactly know what I want to do. So first off, how, how about we just figure out what the requirements are. So we already had the <laughs> sexy clone jutsu. Now we have the multi-shadow clone jutsu. And we also have Rasengan. This is going to be so useful. Now, we also have the Chakra for Health Charge, which I think could be amazing. A ninjutsu that lies close to a medical ninjutsu, replenishing chakra of either the user of a target, user or target at the cost of health. Okay, then. That's, that actually makes sense. So I sacrificed my health to get chakra. That's, that actually could be pretty nice. Look at the Rasengan. I mean, it looks kind of weird right here, but it'll be nice when we actually use it. I like this. I really do. I've already slept some at full stats. I did buy some shurikens. I don't know if I mentioned that. I bought some shurikens because I just I thought they were still really nice. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some of our stats into ninjutsu. Because ninjutsu is where we get our chakra from. You see on the left it's growing. It also increases our damage for these moves. So we're going to increase it just a lot to go ahead and do it. And we already have a lot of HP. So I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, taijutsu. And then maybe some kin, well, actually, yeah, kinjutsu, and then shurikenjutsu for the shurikens that I have. So now I have a lot more. Let's go and try out our Rasengan. That, it's not working. Wait, did it work? Or am I crazy? Yeah, because if I hit like this, it doesn't. Am I that much stronger? There's no way. I'm doing more damage now. I mean, it took a lot, but I'm actually doing more damage wonder why. Okay, well, I know that normal... That punch that I did earlier was not a normal punch. That was a Rasengan! It has 13 damage. That's pretty solid. I like that, actually. Now, we still haven't used the multi-shadow clone jutsu. Oh! <laughs> Rasengan! I love the shadow clone jutsu. It's so clever. Like, it was such a clever idea. We just have a bunch of, like, little clones of you. And, like, the way that they use it in the show, where Naruto basically uses the clones to all train at the same time, so he gains the knowledge of all of his clones. That's why it's so deadly. And, of course, they have a girlfriend now. This is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. We also have the health for Chakra, which we can't use right now. And guess what? Since we've made it even more days, we can finally go ahead and use not our first tail, but the second tail transformation. This makes us stronger and faster. wee -ha! And then if we add win mode, wee -ha! Bro, we are just zooming. Pain ain't gonna have nothing on us at this rate. Oh, let me take off that chakra mode. There we go. Look at us just zooming. We are going absolutely crazy right now. I love this. Look how high we can jump to. It's just getting stronger and faster. Now, the next one will probably be the last one before we're finally able to go to Karama mode. And that's going to be like our max. Then I eventually might even get Sage mode in this. I don't know how to get Sage mode, but I'm going to try and look into it, all right? I'm going to try and look into it so we can actually get Sage mode before the end of this uh, video. But now I need to go ahead and I need to unlock the final move, Rosin Shuriken. And I need to figure out how to go Sage mode and unlock the last remaining bits of my Jinchuriki power. Now, so far, I haven't really seen a way to get to Chunin. And I haven't seen any quests that I can do that give me bosses. But what I'll do is if we can get strong enough, I will let us start fighting bosses. Even if I have to cheat them in through using commands, I will let us fight bosses because I think that'll be really sick. And we need some kind of challenge other than just being Naruto Uzumaki and being OP. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, I've finally unlocked every move. I actually went ahead and unlocked this because I didn't want to show it in the video if it wasn't the correct thing. It was called something else, like Tengu Shadow Clone or something. But apparently, this is the ultimate version of Shadow Clone Jutsu. Forbidden Jutsu. Multi, multi Shadow Clone Jutsu. It says multiple, but you know what it means. Create 41 clones of yourself. You thought this was crazy or this was crazy? 
we don't need this one anymore. We don't even need the normal one. We have the <laughs> huge multiple shadow clone jutsu. Does this not work? Bro, can you imagine if it doesn't work? It doesn't seem to be working. And I have the chakra for it. I wonder why it's not working. Maybe it's like broken right now. Dang it, man. This mod keeps letting me down in small ways. I was really hoping to see 41 clones of myself. Maybe we'll try it again later and hopefully it'll work. Either way, we do have the multiple shadow clone jutsu for now. So that'll do. And we do have... Rosin Shuriken. Which is also a win release move. Like I said. A legendary lethal technique invented by Naruto Uzumaki. Damage unknown. Chakra cost 87. Oh my god. I can destroy buildings now. I gotta be careful. I didn't think it would actually destroy that. That's scary. Well, let's also go ahead and learn our final moves. We got the Beast Tearing Palm. Shoot a vicious colored wind towards your opponent. Exploding on impact. Pushing them back and giving you a short resistance. Do I have enough to... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, instead of having to use the random jutsu, I could have just learned it from this. Oh, well, I guess that's going to be it for the win release because that's the very last move that I know of. Let me make sure. I don't want to say that and then there'd be something else. Rosin Shuriken is the last one. Yeah. Scattering. I don't know what these do, but I'm going to guess they're the normal ones. By the way, I think we have every move now. So, I mean, I have two shurikens. I don't really need that, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove that. We have all of our win moves. And we have all of Naruto's moves, including the Forbidden Shadow Clone Jutsu, which I don't think we can use yet. And let's see what we've got. We also have Health for Chakra if we get low. What's the Beast Tearing Palm look like? Oh, that's cool. It actually destroys stuff, too, if I'm not careful. That's the three wave ability. This is Rosin Shuriken. This is Air Bullets. Creed 3. Okay, that's 8. Interesting. Well, I mean, these are basically the same thing, so no reason for that. That gives me room to put my Shuriken. Wind mode is still amazing, of course. And we have our Tailed Beast. Now, the only thing missing, I think, is Tailed... Uh, not Tailed, but the Toad Sage mode. You know what I mean? Now, since it's not much different and we're getting very close to the end of the video, I have to go ahead and reveal the next stage of the Tailed Beast, right? So first off, stage one, stage two, and now stage three. Now, it's not a huge difference. That's why I said it's not too big, and that's why I'm going to go ahead and show it. I have a skull around me now, and I'm just even stronger. My stats are even stronger. Now, if I put the win mode on it, yep, once again, it just makes me ridiculously fast and ridiculously OP. And with my insane moveset that I have, stuff like a creeper get instant killed. There's just no shot that they're going to be able to stand a chance against me. I'm way too strong. Now, the bad part is it is going to consume a lot of chakra, but that's what we're going to try. Try this move. Health for chakra. Does this work? Counter one. How do I use this? Ow. That hurt. Ow. Ow. Okay, I use it. It's not really that good. I'm going to say that because it's using a lot and it's not really doing a whole lot. There's a shuriken. Our shurikens like instant kill certain mobs. Now that's crazy. Okay, well, what we're going to do now is now that we got this, we're going to unlock Kurama and we're going to try and figure out if we can get the sage mode because if we can, that'd be awesome. But if not, that means we need to get to working on finding the bosses. Because we are just about to the end of this Naruto Uzumaki build. If I manage to miss something, let me know. I'm trying my best to not miss anything. But there's a very big chance that I could miss something here. Guys, I was drinking some weird soup. And I think I'm supposed to get Toad Sage powers now. I don't know, man. I'm kind of... Okay, guys. I gotta be honest. I tried to learn how to do Sage mode. But unfortunately, we could not. And the reason why was actually fairly simple. I just quite literally can't. I think I have to do like a whole other playthrough to actually be able to get to that point. And sadly, I won't have a time and I don't think I'll even be able to accomplish that. It's, this mod is kind of glitchy, but it's also very confusing because there's not like a straight guide. So I'm a little confused on what to do, but that's all on me. If you guys know how to do it, let me know in the comment section below. 
But I mean, even if I could, I don't think I could stack both the Tailed Beast and the Sage Mode, so it's unfortunate, but it's okay. We're gonna lock the full power of the Karama Spirit, you know, out of out of our Tailed Beast, Arch and Cherokee Power. We're gonna go ahead and max that out, and we're gonna be able to finally take on some bosses. And then we're gonna end this video off while taking down, hopefully, multiple bosses. Okay, guys, today's the day. We're finally gonna unleash our full power, but I have to warn you, being in the village, a lot of things are about to get destroyed, so this could cause a lot of damage. But since this is probably going to be our only 100 days here, who the heck cares? Am I right? Let's go ahead and do this. It'll repair itself, surely. I mean, it'll be fine. So what we're going to do is we're first going to fight a Guinean boss, which should be a little weaker, I would assume. What we're going to do is go ahead and activate win mode, get that out of the way, get a Rasengan out, and now we have everything we need. Next, we'll fight Pain. But let's go ahead and begin. Okay, hello. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I gotta, I gotta awaken Krama. Give me your power. Ugh. I refuse to go wild on you guys. You're not even worthy of it. What the? I just killed him that fast. I. What, bro, bro? Stop moving. Stop moving. Okay. So I thought, get him, boss. Easy. But now for the real challenge. Something that's going to make me use every last bit of my power. And they've already got me pretty weak from that last fight. Now, we use the quite literal Karama-tailed beast to try and take out pain. This is us at our full power. It doesn't get much better than this. We quite literally have the full power of Karama. Sexy clone jutsu! He killed my sexy clone with like no hesitation. All right, multi shot clone jutsu. Okay, now you're just being a jerk. Beast tearing palm. Raza shuriken. 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 Oh, uh, I mean I did some damage, but it's looking like I'm running out of chakra. So how about we just out? There we go. I'm hitting with some of those shurikens. He has a... He doesn't regen. He doesn't regen. He's killable. I'm charging up my chakra right now. Best I can. It just takes a while. Interesting. Well, I don't need this dirt in my inventory. I can barely see my inventory with this tailed beast in the way. Is he out here just causing as much destruction as possible? Why is the shuriken? Oh, man. That thing hurts. But his HP is getting lower, isn't it? At least I think so. You don't have enough power or enough game sense to come kill me. You're stuck down there. There's nothing you can do. Probably. I mean, unless you unlock some sort of new move right off the bat, that would be pretty fire, though. I'm not going to lie. Tom needs our health for chakra ability. Let's see if this will actually help. Oh, mighty pool. Dang, dude. Relax. I have achieved getting wood. <laughs> Fusion Timmy has earned the achievement. Getting wood. Oh, yeah. I'm really getting the wood now. Okay, this this kind of sucks. This ability, just it's almost useless with how little chakra it gives you. Where's he got? He's still down there. Man, he is aggressive. If I just had my chakra at full right now, this would be a lot easier. Look at him, he's barely scratched. How about I use something that doesn't take chakra? These hands! Uh, 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 he's too short. Wait, no, I can hit him. It's just getting bloody. I feel like I'm, like, I I'm being victimized by Kratos right now. I am Zeus getting hit by Kratos. This is ridiculous. Man, this tough beast form makes things harder. All right, that's enough. Beat you, bomb! I don't know if my Biju Bomb worked there. Hold on, I don't think I used the right button. All right, Biju Bomb. Oh yeah, that'll hurt. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Krama, are we okay? Buddy, I can't see nothing. It's, 
My game crashed! Oh my god. The Bijou Bomb was so powerful it blew up my game. I have not had that happen. Wow. That is actually insane. My Minecraft won't, won't even start. What the heck just happened there? It literally crashed the game. The Bijou Bomb was so powerful. Holy. Did Payne at least die, I wonder? Did that kill him? Did we get him? Oh, man. What happened? I just got back and everything's just... Uh, huh? Is Payne gone? Did we win? Kraba? My health's different. Everything's different. What happened? What if we killed Payne? Yeah, there's nothing here anymore. Alright, let's go investigate and see if Payne got killed from the BG bomb. I, I used all of my power. I have no chakra left. If that didn't kill him... At that point, he just wins. I used everything I had. So much so that it quite literally broke the game. That was like the full power of a tailed beast all in one attack. This is where it happened. The BG bomb landed about right here. And there's no sign of pain anywhere. I think we won the battle. Fair and square. I will say that it knocked me out cold. So cold that it crashed the game. But it looks like we came out on top. And we stopped pain. It may have been a scuffed victory, but I'll take it. A victory is a victory, nevertheless. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, tell me how I could have made this video even better. Did I miss something? Was there something I could have changed? Let me know. What was your favorite moment of the video? Let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video, all right? Thank you for staying 100 days with me. This video was really fun to make, and it was a good change of pace because I've been doing a lot of Dragon Ball recently, so doing Naruto, pretty fun. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Fusion Timmy, signing out.